Yeah, I mean, they've definitely asserted a lot of influence in our economic and military system, uh, especially in the Beltway, Silicon Valley. I think that there's a lot of Marxist, or there, there definitely is a lot of Marxist sympathy that they're tapping into uh, within the hard left Silicon Valley culture that's tapping into our information infrastructure as well as our corporate infrastructure. Um, a lot of the universities and places like Washington, D.C. have infiltrated the Beltway elite to have Marxist sympathies, right? And that's bleeding into our bureaucracy. Uh, I think it's vital at this time that the conservative movement gets people that aren't selling out to the CCP. Uh, the Democrats are completely sold out, completely complicit with these people at this point. But we really need strong conservative leadership to oust CCP loyalists and influence in the United States for it to have any impact on uh, things here, let alone China. Thank you, sir. And why do you know, how do you get to know the evil of the Chinese Communist Party? And how do you get to know their infiltration here? So I spent some time in the military working for the DOD in Washington. Um, was raised by a good family that taught me the evils of communism. I've actually spent a fair amount of time uh, in the former Soviet bloc, Russia. Uh, I've been to Poland recently. And you hear firsthand the horrors of communism. Uh, we get decent information on what's going on with the CCP, but it's you know pretty perpetually a uh, oppressive system, totalitarian system with an inner core that uh, really doesn't care about the common man, that ultimately just wants a small elite to run the government, and inefficiently so.